happy to call this man with the with the beautiful mustache, my friend Tom. Um, and Tom Martins is the creative director of Visit Fort Worth, or the Fort Worth Visitors and Conven- Bureau of Conventions. It's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, so we, he gets to do a lot of really cool things, and because of him, a lot of really cool things happen in this town. And so we want to start it off by just just showing a quick video of uh, some activations that he is responsible for, and then we're going to jump into, uh, you know, why why Tom is so cool. All right, let's let's see how this works. I'm too big for this. I get it off the strand. Hold it the way to the world. Never seen nothing like this. I had to do it for me. Brought it back, now we want E. Too busy plotting my move. They care what they say about me. So turn The Fort Worth event is like a living advertisement. We've got food, we've got TX Whiskey, the Hotel Drover. Fort Worth is full of South By fans, and we are glad to be here. What they say about me. So turn me up. Don't turn me down. Turn me up. Don't turn me down. Do it for the city. South by Southwest has been amazing. Three days of incredible performances. What's next? Who knows? I think we're gonna only make it bigger and make it better and make people wanna come here. They wanna blow up my can They wanna pay me a The best work for South by Southwest is inspiring. We can go in rejuvenated and back to the hard work that we're doing in Fort Worth and know that we're absolutely on the right track. I'm not into parties, you know that. Why are you so mad that I wouldn't go? and the love that the town shows, especially in the film and and TV world, has been out of this world. I want to see more and more film and TV happening in Fort Worth. For them to have a presence here to shine light on our industry and and the arts is crucial. So let's keep it going. Oh my gosh, it's all about what's next in Fort Worth right now, okay? Stay tuned. Yeah, you got to stay tuned and you definitely got to listen to On the Same Page podcast if you really want to find out the tea, what's going on in Fort Worth. I think the future of Fort Worth, I mean, it is completely unmatched. There's so much growth in every single area and aspect. Just coming to South by Southwest and seeing everyone here experience it, new faces coming to Fort Worth, and it's just all up from here. The future is so bright for our city. We've got a lot of growth that's coming our way, and showcasing all that there is is the first step in really making sure that we grow the way that we want to grow. All right, we were able to watch the video. That was good. Um, so, so Tom, uh, the reason I wanted to just you know throw this this quick panel together uh, is the reality is uh, Printed Threads is very involved in the city of Fort Worth, just as Oklahoma Shirt Company is very involved in the city of Oklahoma City, and um, I, the people that really make amazing things happen in in cities are the people that get together and do do great work together. So, Tom, could you tell us just a little bit about what you do for Fort Worth and, and what that should mean to the general public? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting is how a shirt can go so far. And I know that's, I mean, you guys all know this, but um, so what I do is I'm uh, the Associate Vice President of Creative and Branding, and I'm also the Director of the Fort Worth Music Office. So in Fort, at Visit Fort Worth, no one has just one job. We always joke about that. Um, and it's much like you guys, you do multiple things, but what we're trying to do is treat the Fort Worth brand as entertainment. Um, every city is a destination. Everybody want, wants to go there. But every city has breweries. Every city has uh, paddle boards, it seems like. Um, everyone has kind of the same thing. So we're trying to treat it as a place you want to be entertained by. And by doing that, it's, you know, you're at a conference, you're doing this for entertainment. You may be learning, but you're still doing it for fun. Um, When you go see live music, it's entertainment. When you go to a sporting event, which the Sports Commission is under Visit Fort Worth, you're being entertained. And so we try to treat the Fort Worth brand as an entertainment brand, not just a destination. But by doing this, you see a lot of people build trust in us and do events with us. And 
because we print shirts with you. We've seen the chamber print shirts with you. We've seen other uh, city organizations print shirts with you, which are just promotional items because then they print uniforms with you, and then they print other items. So it seems like this trust level that's built up through the people doing things behind the scenes. So one thing that I've noticed about Fort Worth specifically is that uh, we've, we've got a lot of really cool things happening. Did anybody watch 1883? Um, it's, a, it's a TV show. <laughs> Uh, but uh, anyways, that TV show was actually shot right here. In fact, if you uh, walk outside into the stockyards, uh, if you watch the first episode of that, you'll notice that that was it, except for there was dirt all over the roads. And, and, uh, and one of the, there's a bar fight that was at, um, at White Elephant Saloon, just right down the street. So uh, there's so many cool things happening here. So it is the job of, of Tom's to make our city look cool and attractive to people to come to it. And you, if all of you guys are from different cities across the country, there is someone in your city who it, that is their job is to make your town look cool so that people will come there to do a movie, to do uh, you know a conference or, or whatever that may be. And being able to partner with those people is really important because you can help them make the city look cool. And if more people come to your city and do more events in your city, what does that do for your business? Like suddenly you're printing shirts. Like we, we print shirts for Yellowstone all the time. Like that's weird, but it's because these guys are doing really cool stuff and making those people come here. Um, and so and I just think, you know, what, what he's doing is amazing. I wanted to feature him because you, you can hear what he says and what he, what he cares about and find someone that's just like him. You, you, work with other cities all the time. We've gone to other cities with you. Um, like, what, what's what we're doing that other people aren't doing? Well, I mean, that's a great question. I think what we're doing is just, like I said, treating it like an entertainment brand, but also just kind of being more engaged with our city leaders and showing what we can do. I mean, one of the things, it's a pride point for me being the director of the music office is um, every concert comes to Dallas, right? For the longest time, everything always came to Dallas. And what we did was worked with Live Nation to show that Dallas and Fort Worth are two different cities. And Dallas has its own zoo. Fort Worth has its own zoo. Dallas has its own PGA golf tournament. So does Fort Worth. And so by them seeing that and ma mapping out an area, you can see like people from Weatherford, which is west of her, Alito, uh, Abilene, will come to Fort Worth, but they won't drive to Dallas. And the same thing with Dallas is you've got Frisco, Plano, Richardson, you know, those cities will not drive to Fort Worth, but they'll still go to Dallas. And so we saw, you know, some some legitimacy come from like uh, Post Malone did a Dallas state and went to Austin, then came to Fort Worth. Um, uh, Noah Cyrus just played Tana Hills, which is a new music venue, and then she played House of Blues in Dallas. So it's things like that, just you know, working with other partners to show that your city matters and what you can do to make it better. Yeah, and I think what is crystal clear here is that we're trying to create more division and get Dallas to be farther away, right? <laughs> so um, we love our friends. Love <laughs> so so Tom uh, and and some buddies created a nonprofit under Visit Fort Worth called Here Fort Worth, which is specific to musicians to help musicians connect uh, with with their own community and make. Uh, just help popularize the arts in Fort Worth. And through that, other cities have been looking at what Tom has created. In fact, uh, and some of our friends that are in different cities have reached out. So recently, I was at a, we were in a Nashville at Americana Fest, and our, one of our friends came up to me and said, hey, we, I live in Oklahoma City now, and so I would really like to create some, some sort of relationship with someone in Oklahoma City, kind of what, like what, um, printed threads has with here Fort Worth. And so I said, well, I know a guy in Oklahoma City. His name's Justin Lawrence. And so right there, I connect, made that connection. And now there's a new uh, organization called Sounds OK, uh, which is basically a music organization for Oklahoma that uh, now Justin has partnership with. And so th there's that opportunity everywhere. And one thing that we've realized is like, you got to go create some of that opportunity. So I go to Tom and say, I got an idea. We should do this thing. Let's do an education conference for musicians at Printed Threads. And he says, well, sure, let's do it. You know, and like, and so then we can create all of that stuff and keep people coming back to, back to our, our business. And it's not because he's 
showing a tremendous amount of favoritism to us specifically, but it's because we're actually going to him and saying, how can we help provide value to the city of Fort Worth? And that's really important to us. How has how this uh, your sounds okay thing transpired? How's that going? It was cool. We had a meeting. We met about two weeks ago. Um, we had our first preliminary. Quint was there. Um, Sang was there. And we just, we got to listen. And it was, it was one of those meetings. It was awkward for me a little bit because it's like, hey, here's this incredible opportunity here's this stranger, y'all get together, people say nice things about each other, and then it's like, it's the first day, you're like, hi, do you think I'm pretty, like, do you like this, like, what do you, and it, it was really a fact-finding discovery, like, hey, we want to understand you and your organization, uh, and we want you to have an understanding of us, and then how can we create some action and some fun together, and it was a, it's a really incredible opportunity, and what Brett is saying is, is accurate. Like, you have to go stir up that business. You have to create it. You have to curate it. You have to develop it. And, you know, Tom, I was going to ask, like, what, you know, I think about our friends that are all in different cities across the nation. If, if we do want to find the analog of a person like you, what's the best way um, for us to, like, go after that? Or are there are some specific services or things? Because it's not just like, here's my business cards. We make t-shirts, right? It's, Brett, I've taken, we've taken a cue from printed threads. Like we have a big company meeting space. Well, also your meeting space could be a music venue. You saw Brett where we were at his house yesterday, you know, the bar that's in the back and you having the ability to flip and use your space. A good example, we used our print shop. Um, it was odd, but we worked with a catering company. The Oklahoma City Public Schools uh, needed to host a a winter formal like dinner for their teachers or their principals and vice principals. And we said, well, you want to do something really non-traditional? We opened up our print shop. We made it look like a wedding was happening in there. And then we printed, like they got to bring their own clothes and we had clothes on site, but it was a nice dinner in our dirty ass print shop. And our presses were running. Well, every single person that left that had a really good taste in their mouth about Oklahoma Shirt Company and our generosity. And finding opportunities to foster those relationships. So I digress, but what are ways that we could, that do you have ideas or things that you've seen in the past where like someone that might not have done that before or what's a good first step to engage with a civic or a city organization? Well, I mean, I think there's multiple paths and the, th the thing that's the most tricky about this is no two city right. works identical. So some visit organizations like the Convention of Visitors Bureau that I work at are housed by the chamber. Some are owned by the city. Some are kind of private and are contracted. So it's different in every, or, every city organization, but it's just connecting. Every city is going to have some type of visit component and reaching out to them. And then if, you, if you're not having any luck there, the chamber will always have some kind of, of development there. But then there's also, even within city organizations, like a city government itself, they'll have a, either a culture or a music office, and it may be buried in a corner of some, you know, beige office space that you don't think exists, but most cities do because they want arts and culture. And so you can reach out to them, and I mean, I think my job isn't really about, you know, I think we do cool stuff. And I mean, I, that's why we showed that video is we are partnering with Yellowstone, 1883, TX Whiskey, all local brands, Dickies, things like that. But it's also just connecting dots and getting people to talk. And I mean, I think I'm more of just a point of contact sometimes than I am a doer because it's getting people to communicate. I mean, everyone has cool ideas, but it's just like, how do you take an idea off the ground and make it something reality? And it's sometimes it's just talking to somebody, just like you and, and you know, the Sounds Okay guys just have that conversation. But it's, you know, then that conversation comes backwards. And like, so with our organization here, Fort Worth, which is a part of Visit Fort Worth, we are a initiative to build community and, and export local music. So that's what we do. We offer travel grants to musicians to get them on the road, but we also host monthly mixers. And so Brett said, hey, instead of these mixers just being at a different bar, record store, music venue, he goes, what if we made an education component? And I was like, well, shit, this sounds like more work for me. And, uh, and so, but what it turned into is a really cool thing because now four times a year, we get people to Brett's shop. We've got a bank that sponsors the food, which sometimes getting food to musicians is a low entry point, but it's a thing that means a lot. Martin House Brewery has been amazing. They always give us beer for the events. And then we just have these panels, and we've done some really cool panels. Um, we've had uh, Vaden Todd Lewis from the Toadies. His wife is a accountant for musicians in Fort Worth, and she did one on rock star accounting. Um, we got Scott Booker, the manager of the Flaming Lips, who's from Oklahoma City. He came down and talked about 
you know, the power of yes and being a manager. And so it's just these things. And I mean, we're getting, you know, traction with these. And so we've already got most of 23 booked out because people have heard about it and want to do it. So it's really cool. Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest takeaway for me and even just like thinking about this is like just go out there and make something cool and get people attracted to it. And then they'll come to you and, and you want to build a, you want to build that trust with your community. You want to be, be able to be a resource to them. Um, for us, it's not all about just making money and making T-shirts. Like, obviously, that's a that's a piece of it because we need to feed our families and everyone. But we really just want to help. And if you just have that helping heart, like, you'll always be surrounded with helpers. So, well, th- this was just a quick little thing. And I'm really thankful that Tom could take time out of his day, out of planning the uh, Lone Star Film Festival to come and uh, hang out with us. Uh, for a few minutes, and uh, I hope you got some ideas out of it. Yeah, and I mean, just not to make it more than it is, because I'm I'm honored to be here. I appreciate what you guys are doing, and I mean, I'm a I'm a designer first, so I appreciate print techniques more than most people do. Um, and so, um, if there's anything I can do for you, just to go to FortWorth.com, and there's a staff directory, and you can see this ugly mug on there and just shoot me an email if there's anything I can help with if you're local or just, you know, if I can help connect the dots somehow, just let me know and I'd, I'd love to be a part of it. So thanks a lot, man. Thank you, Tom.